Hello, everyone. It's Dr. Gwen here with your self-care tip two strategy of the week. This week, we are talking about being carefrontational. Yes, carefrontational, not confrontational. That's not what we want to be. All right. So when we are carefrontational, because we all need people in our lives to tell us things that we need to hear, even if we are not ready to receive it or we are not ready to own it. We need people in our lives to really give us that kick in the butt that we sometimes need to get us in gear. But we are more receptive when someone comes to us from a place of caring instead of a place of confrontation. Confrontation is never fun. Carefrontational is tolerable. All right, so make sure that when you um, carefully confront someone that your motives are in check, that you're doing it coming from a place of love and support and encouragement and not a place of malice or any kind of ill intent, but that you are coming to the person um, with love and that you are trying to help them and you have taken the time to reflect and get your thoughts together and that you're doing it um, when you are at peace and not angry so that they can receive it. So the lesson for today is carefrontation, not confrontation. So uh, a great self-care strategy is to carefully confront someone about an issue that has some kind of negative impact on you and your life so that you can move forward. Because sometimes we have to get things off of our chest. We have to just say it, but we can come um, from a place of peace and love and caring and not a place of um, blame and hurt and anger. All right. So carefrontation over confrontation. That is our self-care strategy tip two for this week. Have a great week, guys. Remember, self-care matters.